everything's gonna be everything. So, Tanya, you had had four other kids. You basically knew how this went. You wake up one morning and, you know, things are happening and it's like, this is not normal. So we came to the hospital and the doctor said the baby's on the way and my husband went in to, you know, change his clothes and came out and Taylor was there. That's how fast it was. I, I didn't have any experience with premature. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't, we weren't sure if he was going to make it. He wasn't going to make it. And um, and you live at the hospital for, we, we lived here for 13 weeks. You know, you get a call in the middle of the night. He's not doing so well. You need to come in. You know, you come in doing cut downs on him, you know, IVs in his head because they've done so many cut downs on him. They can't do any, they have to go in different areas of the body. What was it like for your husband? He had a hard time with it, but um, he couldn't bear to see him in the neonatal care center there. It just, he would come and he'd visit and he'd leave because it was just, it was very hard. I mean, tubes all over the place come in and they would either have good news or bad news. So then was there a day where you could finally go, you know what, things are going to get better? I think when he got off oxygen, it was a long period, three or four months before we got him off the oxygen because, you know, you'd wean him off of it and down and down. There was a day I just said, you know... (laughs) It's time to take him off of this, so we went to the doctors and he, he agreed. And everything's gonna be, everything's gonna be, everything's gonna be all right, all right. And that was like a closed chapter of that book. A friend of ours had a baby that was in the hospital and down in the NICU just two or three weeks ago. And I went down there and I ran into one of the nurses that took care of Taylor. And I just never got down there. And so I ran into her and I said, I know you. You took care of my son. She remembered me. It was just amazing. 20 years later, she said, I remember Taylor. How's he doing? And it's just those babies mean so much to those nurses down there. So things are a lot different for Taylor now. He um, graduated from high school and he's off into the Marine Corps. So um, 20 years old and um, just an ornery, you know, little boy and did all the typical things that little boys do and teenagers do. And, you know, there's times I think, oh, my gosh, you know, I'm ready to send him back. But he turned out to be a really good kid. Everything's going to be all right. Be all-